There's a uh, video on how to make a shielded GPS uh, for if you're having problems with it uh, taking too long to connect or uh, get signals. You can uh, take a couple of things that people recommend on uh, the different forums, combine them together into one really good uh, GPS unit. So starting off, I'm using a GPS off of a Dragon on-screen display. I have a ferrite ring, uh, some shrink tubing. This is a one and a half inch by one and a half inch uh, square plate. It's going to be as the reflector that sits behind the GPS. Helps out a little bit. And what I did is I actually cut in right here and in right here. That way I can bend this back. flatten it so that when the ring is coiled up it'll actually set right here nice and close to the GPS so it'll line up right there the ring will go over that wiring wrapped around it so it makes a nice clean setup uh, if you're worried about the edges you can tape them file them down whatever you'd like uh, I don't have any issue with it because I actually go through the whole thing once I get done winding it, putting, connecting the grounding. Um, then I put a little, a couple dots of hot glue in there to seal it up. And then when you uh, do the final shrink tube, the hot glue will melt down in and adhere to everything. So but that's the basics of that. And the USB cable that I'm going to be using is a shielded USB. Um, this actually has full shielded stranding plus a foil. Um, so this is a, a pretty good one, and it, it's just a basic printer cable. So I'll uh, get this unwrapped and we can get started. Okay, so here is shielded. I've got seven inches right here. Um, plus I saved roughly three inches of the wire. You're not going to need nearly that, but I'll just keep it out of the way for now. So that's stripping the foil and the uh, wire wrap itself. So then from here you're just going to wrap the toroid with the USB wire. So I like to get mine as flat as possible, so that takes a little bit of time, but that's the basics of it. And you want to wrap it snug to the shielding. Okay, so not quite eight windings. Uh, you could go some more. So you'd actually, it looks like you'd need about 12 inches for windings on this toroid. Uh, if you have a smaller one, it'll take a little bit less. But this is the basis of it. This one will work good for me. Uh, it's got enough on there to just get a basic filtering. And now you have to keep your wires where you can actually connect, solder to them and have them available for connecting on to here. A uh, nice thing about the Dragon GPS is it's the same color code as USB. So it's really easy to match everything up. So I'll uh, get the GPS open up here. We'll remove the wires and put these on it. When removing the wires, if you remove only a few at a time, it's easier to remember where each one goes.
Okay. So that's it. I'm actually going to slide this as close to the GPS as possible. And we'll go from there. So that's the basics with that connected. Now what you'll need to do is get your shielding. So for the shield we have two options. You can either shrink tube this, then you can put the shielding on, or you can just cover it with electrical tape because you just don't want it to actually connect to this. So we put it on here just like this, making sure that it's not going to contact anything. So I move this uh, piece of tape a little bit. Okay. So now that'll go right in there. So all shielded. And you'll just need to uh, connect it how you'd like. So you just got to make sure that it's not going to ground out on anything. That's what the wire, the electrical tape's for. So the next part is actually connecting the shielding to the to the ground plane or the reflector. And what I do is actually uh, take half the wire, go one way, and half the wire and go the other way around the coil so that it'll be nice and snug. And you can, depending on how you folded this, you can actually, uh, if you unfold it a little bit here, you can tuck your wire underneath this and then uh, solder it. So what I'll do is I'll put a little flux in there. Place it on here. Wrap the wire so it goes completely around. And then you want to crimp that back down. I'm not I'm not grabbing the GPS itself but just the reflector. Crimp that back down over and then you can sweat some solder back into it. I'm going to trim these before possibly. So just like that. This is where you have to be careful to, because you have to get the plate pretty hot, but you don't want to damage your GPS. So what I'm going to do is actually put just this behind it, just as a sort of a gap. And then I'm going to just start sweating the solder in there. And if you've ever worked with a copper pipe and things, it's pretty much the same. Uh, once this gets hot enough, it'll actually uh, suck the solder into it.
Okay, so there it is. Let's get that out of there, and when you move it, you'll realize how hot it actually got. And... You want to make sure everything is uh, lined up how you want it before putting your uh, shrink tubing on. And if you want, you can uh, round the edges a little bit. If you don't want it to cut through the shrink tubing, if you just take a tiny bit off each edge, or just to make it a little safer to handle, I guess. So there it is. The shrink tubing is long enough to cover the uh, coil itself. And everything is on there. So now your wire should be in there. The shielding should come out to the ground plane. And that is about it. Now you just have to shrink it and do the other end, however long you need this. So here it is. Put the shrink wrapping on there, made it so I can still see my LED for my status. And then it wraps just around this, just to keep it nice and snug in there. And then this I put on before I connected the end, so that I can take it, slide it over right there, and shrink it down. Now it'll be ready to go. This is actually a, a latching clip that I use. Uh, can fit on standard servo, or you have one of these that actually latches in. Uh, I get these from uh, TE uh, Electric, and I order them through a distributor because they're a little more durable than the ones that you can get at like the hobby shops. Uh, and these are actual solder connectors, not a crimp connector. But I just got that guy to do, just solder it or shrink it down, and that's it. It's the upgraded GPS, I guess you could say. Okay, this is what you get when you finish the GPS. Uh, adding the reflector plate, shielded wire, and the uh, ferrite ring or toroid. So. These are both my, uh, two of my Dragon on-screen displays, they're showing good. They have six satellites right now, which I'm indoors, so six is doing pretty good. But didn't take much time, it was uh, about indoor, and I don't know how long they've been powered off. Uh, one of them I just bought, and the other one I bought off a guy of RC groups. So... They definitely haven't been flown in a little while, or ever, and they locked right on, so it took it about a minute for first time initialization.